right, so we got another mower pickup to go on real quick. Let's go get it. It's quick and local, and I've been there before. Let's do it. does with trucks what I do with mowers it looks like. I don't know if you can see back there. All right so this mower looks pretty good. Um, obviously there's a reason that they're getting rid of it which is it has a bad engine. It seems to happen a lot. But um, the engine may not be entirely bad, don't really know yet. But I don't like working on engines because it takes too much time. It's a trade off. If I knew how to do it well, I could probably make more money by working on them. But as it is, I didn't even strap that down. But I'm only going not too far, so it'll be fine. So they said that it rattles really loudly when it's running. It has good compression. It's a Kohler Courage single 20 horse. I'm thinking that it has a valve train issues, which is kind of what they were thinking. Um, seems like that's kind of a common thing for the Kohlers. I don't really know why. I may need to look into that. But I think I've got another one like that at home. Anyway, I'll show you the motor when I get home. Troyville XD horse hydrostatic XP. Anyway, it's a 46 inch cut and it's got the sought after. I don't know why they're sought after. I kind of like them, but now I'm hearing there's problems. Um, Kohler Courage 20 horsepower. And I did not strap this down, which means it'll be easier to unload. That's efficiency. But you will notice that. It started up here and ended up back there against the tailgate, which is not really good. Hope I didn't hurt anything. No, nah, I don't think I hurt anything. But this mower is in pretty good condition. I don't know if there's an hour meter. Looks like amps, not hours. I would hope to get, uh, I don't know, 150 bucks, 200 bucks for the transmission. Not quite sure. The deck, you know, 150 bucks. They're really nice parts, so. This is one of those mowers that would probably be worth more as a whole than just assuming that engine's bad. Um, although, if that was a good engine, that engine's worth like 400 bucks. So that's really the, the most valuable part on this mower. The wheels and tires are all actually pretty good, so I could probably sell them. The seat's actually good. It's not that often you get a free mower with a good seat. I would hope to make $500 off this one. I don't know if I will, except I think I have some people that may be interested in that engine, even if it is a bad engine. I think we'll get probably 400 to 600 dollars hopefully. It's a beautiful evening and I'm gonna go make a quick mower pickup. It'll be another little snapper riding mower. Not a zero turn like that one, but it's got the same kind of, I don't know what you call this, a wheelie bar on the back, which makes it hard to load up into the truck bed. I was actually there earlier already with my truck on the way home from work. And it just wasn't going to work out too well, so we're going to use the trailer. Anyway, I'll bring it home and we'll look at it and see what we want to do with it. Let's go get it. Should I see if they want to sell that truck and fix it up? 
Would you guys like to see that? Maybe a flip, a truck flip. See if they take $250 for it. See if I can fix it up and sell it for maybe a thousand dollars or more. I'd love to make like a thousand dollars, so I'd probably want to sell it for fifteen hundred. I don't know. Comment below if you think I should try to get a truck for a flip. And we are home again. All right, so I only had one strap with me of this type, so I just dropped it forward. Let's see if the engine turns over. All right. Oh yeah, it feels good. Kind of hard to tell, but I think the oil is reasonable. Mm, just want to look at some sitting a little while. I'm kind of curious the differences between these two mowers. Obviously, this is a classic rear engine snapper riding mower, and that is a uh, snapper zero turn. Now, the tire size is even the same because this thing needs tires. But why would I take tires from a zero turn to put on here? I don't know. So here's your gear shift and I'm not sure, is there a clutch? Oh yeah, here's your clutch. Your clutch brake there, here's where you set the brake. It's your throttle, it's your ignition, which is dead. And here is your um, deck height. I think that's how you engage the blades. Very simple steering system. Don't I look cute on here? Anyway, that's it for the overview on the snapper. I may throw some gas in there and see if it'll fire, just out of curiosity. It's got a good sized engine, a 14 horse, but the tires are bad. So it probably needs a battery, um, tires, and a carb clean, and it'll probably be ready to go. Or, if you don't want a new battery, you can just always pull start it. But, but it can be hard to pull start a 14 horse engine. Anyway. It's a gorgeous evening, a little warm, not too bad, and I've got somebody coming to look at the motorcycle finally. So let's see if we can um, get it strapped up and um, move it down over there. Okay, so we've got a guy who wants to buy this, I think, and he should be showing up pretty soon. And we'll see if he buys it. I don't know what else to say. And a quick recap, I have this listed for $500. I've had it listed for a while. Um, it costs nothing to me. I'm not 100% sure what make and model it is. I tried looking it up. I think it might be a Yamaha. And I listed it as such. And I listed the VIN numbers and all that stuff. I do not have a title, and well, it's kind of a parts bike, so, but he said that he wants parts, so we'll see how it goes.
um, I worked out. We got it sold. It was a pain to load, um, but we got it loaded. I think he'll be happy he had a bike that had a bent frame, and this one should have a good frame on it. $300.